So this is the top dog too. It has a um, ludicrous mode. So we're in ludicrous mode. So this thing on something, right? Yes. So for all my fellow passengers back there, he wants to punch it. Just make sure your head's back against the uh, headrest. You want to do? You want to do navigate autopilot and all that stuff? Or? Sure. Now turn left onto South Water Drive. So you can just drive like normal. We'll engage autopilot once we uh, get on the highway. And I can show you the. When I get on the highway, is that a good spot to? Oh yeah. Yeah, right there at that light. Yep. Yep. There's actually one more mode, that ludicrous plus mode. Uh huh. Uh, that actually preheats the battery. Um, to optimal temperature to get the most amperage out of it okay. to deliver all that power and it's pretty ridiculous okay. there's no gear shifting um, it's completely silent to take the interstate 75 north ramp Did we get to? 85. 80. <laughs> like that? Good God. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pulls kind of hard. That, that is, it's crazy. You can just zip past cars like, like they were sitting still. So now, how so do now I... the autopilot stock is down here. Yep. If you pull it twice towards you, uh -huh. as long as the steering goes there, you're engaged. I'm good? Yeah, well, you just, you override it with okay. the steering wheel. There you go. Yep. That's it. So, so you can increase speed um, or decrease speed, as well as on the stock, you can rotate it for radar uh, okay. distance. Um, but if you ignore it for too long there, it's going to tell you to put your hands on the wheel. Yeah. But it's, it's looking for feedback, obviously. Is it looking at the rack or is it looking at the wheel, you know? Is I, it the sensor? The I think it's in the rack, actually. Okay. Because uh, so, there's no motors really on the steering column other yep. than adjustments. Okay. So I think it's just looking at the feedback of the, in the steering rack. Cameras here? One of the cameras? One Three. Of the, Three. Triple cam up there. Okay. We have a main cam, a narrow cam, and a fisheye lens. Okay. Cam, um, to get depth perception and all the, everything you need. And if you want to make a lane change, all you gotta do is just hold the turn signal, yep. like left, uh -huh. and it'll it'll change lanes for you. So you guys, cool. okay? Will it start to exit at Wagner Ford? Like yes, it bottom? will. Yes, it should. Okay. Now it's not gonna stop at, at the, the light. light. Right. You see, now you're getting the message. Please put your hands on the wheel. Keeps getting better, obviously. And we'll exit here, or I need to exit. No, you're, we're gonna go to Wagner Ford. Oh, okay. we're gonna go over here. Gotcha. You live in this area still? Mm -hmm. Okay. I live in Kettering. Gotcha. I grew up in West Carrollton. Um, went to CTC junior senior year, and then came to Justin Flair for a couple of years. Did you go to Kettering Fairmont or Miami Valley? Uh, Miami Valley. Okay. Miami Valley CTC up here off Oak Road. So did you have Mr. Jessup and Mr. Watts? I had Mr. Jessup, Mr. Watts, I had Mr. Booth at the time, okay. and then um, what's the other little guy? Um, Cody. Mr. Gebhardt. Gebhardt. That's him. Yep. Super nice guy. Yep. He had an old Model A or Model T. Uh huh. He brought in one time. Yep. Yeah, I'd like to go back up to that school and. and See what it's like now. They're getting ready to do a total revamp. They just got really? room for a huge, yep. Awesome. There That's crazy. So now it's going to want me to take over now? It's not going to tell you to, but yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there's a vehicle in front of you, so it would slow down Okay. Um, the radar system. But if there was nobody there, it would probably just blow through the light. Right, but with the vehicle there, it'll bring us to a stop? Correct. Correct. And obviously you can disengage autopilot like 
hitting the brake pedal or uh, moving the stock. Gotcha. Have you have you sat in the Mercedes yet? I haven't. You should look at it because there is very similar features on. This um, is a Mercedes uh, steering column. You are correct. That's what I was just going to tell you. And some of the. The whole, yeah, the whole column here is the same, and like the lane change and some of that stuff is. That's what I was going to say. You should check it out. Yeah. Very minimal buttons on the Tesla, obviously. You guys ready to go back there? Yeah, sure. <laughs> wow. That's like a roller coaster every yeah. time. <laughs> It is, and this vehicle weighs just under 6,000 pounds. <laughs> and it goes zero to 60 in 2.7 seconds. Wow. That's disgusting. It is, it really is. And just think, the Roadster that's coming out, that first video that you guys uh, saw when you got, got in the classroom, Yeah. that thing will do zero to 60 in 1.9. I was gonna say, oh, so too. Goodness. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's so fast that they said that your eyeballs actually go back in your sockets. <laughs> Is it going to get to the point where you have to do like Formula One neck training to drive one you of these? You might. I don't know. It has a very hardcore uh, like race seat in it for sure. And it's still pretty comfortable too. Oh yeah. This is, uh, does this have regenerative braking in any capacity? Oh yeah, you're okay, doing okay, it right there. I just wanted to make so sure. So if you watch, watch your, um, I'll change something. Oh, that's gotcha. all of our, <laughs> we've been using a lot of energy. Sure. No. <laughs> no, there is a okay. So you're using that much kilowatt right now, but when you let off, yeah, it'll go green. Yep. And that's you're you're making juice there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Do they? Just out of curiosity, do they work? Do they have any incentive programs for employees to buy Teslas? Um, so like for you, like if I could, you know, I mean, like I yeah. Do they have anything like that? They do. They they just started offering us employee leasing. Okay. Um, which is, I, I wish they would have had it when I I purchased the Model Three myself. Okay. Uh, six months ago, um, and at the time, I think they gave us free seats or something. Or okay. seats didn't cost us extra. Okay. Um, but yeah, now they have employee leasing programming. I think you can lease one for like three or four hundred bucks. Wow. Which is pretty ridiculous. Sure. Considering all, everything that's there. Yeah.